Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 143. And we're going to pick up right where we left off last time. In fact, I left last time sitting right up here. This is what we did last time. And now what we're going to do is assume, hey, we know that the present value or the amount of our loan, say, is $50,000. If, if the interest rate is 9% over 10 years, and I'll show you, we're going to walk back through these, uh, these three cells in just a minute. But assume $50,000, 9%, 10 years then what this payment function will do is do very similar to what we had before. We're going to get a rate which is B13 divided by 12. And what I did here, let me drag this out of the way just for a minute. If you look at an interest rate of 0.75 and you show that to somebody who doesn't understand how Excel's working and how we're figuring out the number of payments and that's really the interest rate per month because we're calculating the number of months and all that, it looks kind of screwy to have a 0.75% interest rate. So you'll see what I did here is I said take the interest rate that's in B13 and divide it by 12. And that's getting me the same 0.075 that I have right there. I did a similar idea with this cell here. Instead of putting 120 months, I put 10, so you could put 10 years there, maybe put a little years out to the side instead of my explanation, and multiply the 10 by 12 months to get to the 120 that I had over here. All we're doing with this is making this formula, this data on the front of the spreadsheet, a little easier for other users to understand. The present value is uh, 50,000 and again what I did was remember we what Excel wants to do is it wants to make either the the present value negative or the payments negative because either the payments are going one way and the loans going is the cash is going the other way. What I did here to make the 50,000 a positive number so I didn't look like I had a negative $50,000 loan is I said sure I'll put B12 there and I'll just put a negative sign in my formula so that my spreadsheet looks easy to understand, but my formula is doing what I want it to do. In the future value B16, I did a zero there. And the type B17, I'm still doing a zero, which is the default, which means I'm doing a loan of payments at the end of the period. That's all there is to it. If I click here and click OK, it's easy to do that. And the other thing here is if you wanted to do change this interest rate on this one, you'd have to go back and if, you, if your interest rate was 7.5%, that's really hard to look at and see that 7.5%. But here I can do 7.5%. And my formula works. And the reason it works is because this formula here is doing the math for me in here. It's dividing by 12. It's multiplying by 12 to get the months. All easy to see from the function arguments window. That's what I wanted to walk through with you today. Stay tuned next time. We'll keep going. Thanks for watching.